Hi Yoki, welcome to this energizing 60 minute morning flow. If you're new to the channel, I'm Angela and I'm honored to guide you through today's practice. This fun sequence is designed to get you out of bed and start your day with energy. While it leans towards an intermediate level, don't worry, I'll provide beginner modifications as well. We'll start in an easy seated position with your legs crossed. Sit up tall, ground evenly through both sitting bones. Take a moment to settle onto the mat. Bring your awareness inward and focus on your breath. You may even close your eyes. Mornings sometimes can feel very rushed, so it is important to carve out some time to slow down. Feel the rise and fall of your breath. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. Blink the eyes open. In the morning, our neck and shoulders tend to be quite stiff, so let's loosen those bad boys first. First, by drawing your neck circles nice and slow, moving it in one direction. Then the other. Beautiful. Allow your right ear to fall towards the right shoulder. Right hand sweeps the left ear, creating space. Feel the stretch along the left side of your neck. Maybe you walk your left hand out or perhaps you flex your palm, fingers pointing up. Breathe deeply into where you feel the stretch the most. Now, draw your chin towards the right underarm. Notice if that changes the sensation of the stretch. Good. Let's go to the other side. Left ear drops towards the left shoulder. Left hand is pulling gently at the right ear, creating space. Right hand can walk away from you or flex the palm. Good. Now draw the chin towards the left underarm stretching the back of the neck this time. Beautiful. Find neutral spine. Plant your hands on your shoulders. Inhale, draw the elbows down and touch at your heart center. Feel the expansion of your upper back. Circle the elbows up and away from one another. Good. Let's do that three more times. Breathe into your movements. Now reverse the motion. Draw the elbows up, then down. Meet in the middle. Perfect. Three more times like that. Try not to hold your breath. Not just in this stretch, but throughout the practice. Always bring your awareness to the quality of your breath. Good. 
let it go. Inhale, reach both hands up to the sky. Maybe you look up. Exhale, twist to the right. Left hand presses against the right knee. Right hand reaching back. Inhale to find space. And exhale, see if you can twist a little bit more. Good. Inhale, arms reach for the sky. And exhale, twist to the left. Right hand presses against the left knee. Left hand is reaching back. Inhale to lengthen. And exhale to twist. Beautiful. Find wide-legged child pose. Knees can be as wide as is comfortable to you. Feet touched. Melt your hips onto your heels. Walk your hands out as far as you can. Find length and breathe in Balasana child pose. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. Good. Walk your hands over to the right. Left hand rests on the right hand, stretching deep into the left side body. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Walk your hands back to center, then over to the left. Left hand rests on the right hand. Feel the stretch along the right rib cage. Breathe. Good. Walk your hands back to center. From child pose, inhale, push into your hands to slowly rise, round your back. And exhale, belly tucked in, chin to chest. Inhale, lift the gaze, drop the belly, cow pose. And exhale, round the back as you melt your hips down towards the heels, child pose. Let us flow from here to cat cow two more times. Inhale to rise. Exhale to cat, round the back. Contract and draw in. Inhale, drop the belly, curl the tailbone up, cow pose. And exhale, round the back, melt into the heels, child pose. One more time. Inhale to rise. Exhale to contract, cat pose. Inhale to cow pose, drop the belly, lift the gaze, and exhale, melt back into child. Beautiful. Push into the mat to send your hips up and back, Adho Mukha Shavasana, downward facing dog. This is your first down dog of the practice, so take it out for a walk, bending into one knee at a time. Think of pushing your heart towards your thighs. Your knees can stay bent. It does not need to be very straight right now. As the practice continues, you will begin to loosen up a bit more. Good. Steady through your left palm as you reach your right hand to the outside of the left foot. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let it go. Reach the left hand to the outside of the right foot. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. Inhale, shift forward high onto your plank. Come onto the top of your tippy top toes. Then exhale, chaturanga, lower with control. All the way down to the mat. Inhale to cobra. Elbows by your side, breathe into this beautiful back bend. And exhale, push back down with facing dog. Take a full breath in, 
and a full breath out. Inhale, extend the right leg up to the sky and exhale, draw the right knee to the left elbow. Inhale, extend the right leg back. Exhale, draw the right knee to the right elbow. Inhale, extend. And exhale, draw the right knee towards the chest, around the shoulders, and hold for three, two, one. And exhale, ever so slightly, step the right foot between your hands. Drop the back knee down, low lunge. Check to see if your right knee is directly above the right ankle, belly is tucked into the spine. Good. Now engage your core even more to come and stand up on the right leg. Left knee comes towards your chest. Use your left hand to guide the left foot to the right shin or the right inner thigh. Tree pose. Your hands can be in prayer for stability or extend the, your branches to the sky. Your core is strong and steady through all four corners of your right foot. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Use your left hand to guide the left knee up and out. Right hand clips the waist. Maybe you send your gaze past the right shoulder. Good. Return your gaze back to center. Left hand grabs a hold of the left big toe and see if you can straighten out the left leg. It's okay to keep it bent at the left knee, especially if your hamstrings are tight. Keep your gaze at a steady focal point to help you balance. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Gently release the hold of the left foot. Inhale, reach your hands up to the sky. And exhale, sit your hips down, chair pose. Lift your heart up, pull your navel in and up to support your lower back. Breathe in, breathe out. Now draw your hands in prayer, inhale to lengthen, and on the exhale, draw the left elbow to the outer edge of the right knee and twist. Your left knee may want to come forward, draw it back. This will keep your hips squared. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale. See if there's room to twist a little bit deeper. Good. Now see if you can lift the left foot up, just hovering above the mat. Maybe you point the left foot towards the back of the room. For three, two, one. Then extend the left foot back while maintaining this twist. Find a low lunge twist. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, release the twist. Inhale, reach both hands up to the sky and exhale, step a hop back to plank. Inhale, shift forward an inch, exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or what up dog, exhale, down dog. Good. Take a moment here for your body to meet your mind. Check in to see where you're at before we repeat the sequence on the other side. And when you're ready, inhale, extend the left leg up to the sky. Exhale, draw the left knee to the right elbow. Inhale, extend the left leg back to three-legged dog. And exhale, draw the left knee to the left elbow. Inhale, extend. And exhale, draw the left knee towards your chest, round the back, and hold for three, two, 
one and exhale ever so slightly step the left foot between your hands low lunge check to see if your knee is directly above the ankle belly is tucked into the spine good now engage your core to come and stand up on the left leg right knee comes towards your chest use your right hand to guide the right foot to the left shin or the left inner thigh tree pose your hands can be in prayer for stability or extend your branches up to the sky core is strong steady through all four corners of your standing foot take a full breath in and a full breath out use your right hand to guide the right knee up and out left hand clips the waist maybe you send your gaze past the left shoulder good return your gaze back to center right hand grabs a hold of the right big toe and see if you can straighten out the right leg it's totally normal to keep a slight bend in the right knee find your drishti or the non-moving point to focus on this will help you balance take a full breath in and a full breath out gently release the hold of the right foot inhale reach your hands up to the sky and exhale sit your hips down chair pose lift your chest up Pull your navel in and up. Engage the core. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Draw your hands in prayer. Inhale, lengthen. And on the exhale, draw the right elbow to the outer edge of the left knee and twist. Your right knee may want to come forward. Draw it back keeping the hips squared inhale lengthen and exhale see if there's room to twist deeper good now maybe you can lift the right foot up hovering just above the mat maybe you point the right toes towards the back of the room hold it for three two one good then extend the right foot back maintaining this twist find a low lunge twist breathe in breathe out good release the twist inhale reach both hands up to the sky and exhale step back to plank inhale shift forward an inch exhale chaturanga inhale cobra or what up dog exhale down dog good release the knees to the mat find a seat with your legs out in front of you wiggle your booty while until the fleshy part of your butt is out of the way and you're seated seated on the sitting bones evenly through both sides now flex the foot your spine is nice and tall. Roll the shoulders down and away from your ears. Hands by your side. Maybe you close your eyes. Notice how your body is feeling in this staff pose. Pay attention to any areas of tightness maybe you can send your breath there feel the tensions released with every exhale
into the right knee, cross the right foot over to the outer edge of the left thigh. Inhale, sit up tall, and exhale, draw the left elbow to the right knee. Right hand can come behind you for support. Inhale to find length, and exhale, see if there's room to twist a little bit more. You are still seated evenly through both sitting bones here. So allow the twist to come from the top of your body rather than from your hips. Good. One more deep breath in and a full breath out. Beautiful. Release the right foot, bend at the knees, Sit back slightly so you're balancing on your sitting bones. Prepare for boat pose. Lift the chest to the sky. Gaze is neutral. Arms extended towards your knees. Your core is strong and engaged. Inhale, lift the shins to parallel to the mat. Stay here if that's enough. Or if you have the hamstring flexibility, you can straighten out the legs. Now we'll flow between boat and half po boat pose five times. So steady where you are. Inhale. And on the exhale, lower your legs and your lower back hovering. Inhale, back to boat. Exhale to hover. Inhale, boat. Exhale, hover. Two more times. Inhale, boat. Exhale, hover. Inhale, boat. And exhale, hover. Good. Inhale, back to boat. Hold it. And release. Extend the legs wide to the side. Sit up tall. Inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, fold from the hips. Allow your hands to rest on wherever that's accessible. Straddle fold. Let your spine round naturally and allow gravity to do most of the work here. No need to push and pull. Simply come home to your breath. Slowly use your hands to push yourself up nice and slow. Take your time. Bend into the knees to draw the legs back. Plant your hands on the mat. Step or jump back to plank. Inhale to shift forward and exhale chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale, down dog. Release the knees to the mat. Find a seat with your legs out in front of you. Wiggle your booty until the fleshy part is out of the way and you're seated on your sitting bones. Bend into the left knee. Cross the left foot over to the outer edge of the right thigh. Sit up tall. And exhale, draw the right elbow to the left knee and twist. Left hand can come behind you for support. Inhale to find length. 
and exhale. See if you can twist a little bit more. Good. Release the left foot, bend at the knees. We'll go through boat pose flow just like before. Lift the chest to the sky, gaze is neutral. Arms extended towards your knees, core is strong. Inhale, lift the shins. Stay here if that's enough, or you can straighten out your legs. On the exhale, lower your legs and your back hovering. Inhale, back to boat. Exhale, hover. Inhale, boat. And exhale, hover. Two more times. Inhale, boat. And exhale, hover. Inhale, boat. Exhale, hover. Good. Inhale, back to boat. And hold it. Beautiful. Let it go. Extend your legs wide to the side. Sit up tall. Inhale, reach for the sky. And exhale, fold. We'll find strata fold one more time. Flip the palms to face the sky if you want to surrender and allow gravity to take over. Come home to your breath. yourself up. Take your time. Bend into the knees to draw the legs back. Plant your hands on the mat. Find plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Inhale, shift your hips forward. Plank pose. Shift your weight over to the right palm and lift the left hand to the sky. Stack the left foot over the right side plank. Engage the obliques here. Your right leg is also very strong. If this is enough, stay here. Or lift your left leg up, side plank starfish. Breathe in. Breathe out. Flip back to three-legged plank with your left leg still hovering strong through your core. Now we'll come to pigeon. So draw the left knee behind the left wrist, left ankle behind the right wrist. Back knee comes down to the mat. Readjust so your hips are evenly distributed. 
Your first instinct is to slide the hips over to the left, especially if your hips are tight. However, we want them even. And if there's too much gap between the mat and your left glute, place a block or a blanket under to close that gap. Let us take a back bend first. I like to push into the left leg to lift my chest up. Another option is to walk your hands back, grabbing a hold of the mat. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. Release the back bend and find the traditional pigeon with your head resting on the palms or on a block. We'll stay here for 10 or 20 breaths or so. Really steeping into this hip, hip opener. If 10 to 20 breaths feels way too long, you may have gone too far into the pose. Ease back or use some props. We do not want to risk injuring ourselves here. Remember, you have nothing to prove here. It is your practice and yours alone. Take another full breath in and a full breath out. Slowly push into the mat to extend the left leg back to meet the right fine plank. Inhale to shift forward. Exhale chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale down dog. Inhale, shift your hips forward, plank pose. Shift your weight over to the left palm and lift your right hand to the sky. Stack the right foot over the left side plank. If you find this is a little bit challenging, you can plant the right foot in front of the left. Engage your obliques here. Your left leg is very strong. If this is enough, stay here or lift your right leg up, side plank starfish. Breathe in, breathe out. Flip back to three-legged plank with your right leg hovering above, core engaged. Draw the right knee behind the right wrist. Find pigeon on the other side. Notice if one hip is favored to the other side, draw it back so it's evenly distributed. You might only be able to do this with the help of a block or a blanket under the right hip. Take your time to make sure you are comfortable. 
you want some sensation and stretch, but you definitely do not want to be in pain. Once you've found your edge, let us take a back bend first. I like to push into my right leg to lift my chest up. Another option is to walk your hands back and grab a hold of the mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Release the back bend and find the traditional pigeon with your head resting on the mat or on your palms. We'll stay here for roughly 10 to 20 breaths, really marinating into this pose. Hip openers can bring up a lot of emotions. So notice what come up while you're in this pose. Give it space and simply observe. Imagine your breath melting away any stagnant tensions and emotions you may be holding on to. into the mat, extend the right leg back to meet the left, find plank, inhale shift forward and exhale chaturanga, inhale up dog, exhale down dog, release your knees down, find a seat, swing your legs out to the front and lay down on the mat with your knees bent, hip width distance apart. 
See if your hands can graze gently at your heels. If not, move the heels in closer. Inhale, peel your hips and back up to the sky. Neck and shoulders are relaxed. Shimmy your shoulder blades in and make a fist. Press into the fist in your forearms to lift the hips slightly more. Now find stability through your left leg as you extend your right foot to the sky. Breathe for four, three, two, one. Release. Extend the left leg up and breathe for four, three, two, one. Release. Hold bridge here for another four, three, two, one. Release the fist, release your hips back to the mat. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a big, big hug. Maybe you sway side to side, releasing any tensions on the lower back. Good. Now extend the left leg out. Right knee is still towards your chest. Use your left hand to guide your right knee across to the other side. Right arm is in cactus shape. Maybe you stay here, or maybe you turn to look past the right shoulder. Supine twist. Your right shoulder may want to come up. Keep it down. I love ending my practice with a twist, especially after all the back bend and hip openings we just did. Twists are a great way to release lower back tensions. Release the twist, hug both your knees in. Maybe you sway side to side again. Then extend the right leg, find the twist on the other side. Right hand guides your left knee across. Maybe you look past the left shoulder. Keep the left shoulder rooted onto the mat creating as much space as possible between that left shoulder and your hip. Breathe. Release the twist and hug both knees in. Maybe you sway side to side. Now we're going into shoulder stand. If this is not within your practice, simply place a block under your hips. Raise your legs up to the sky like so. the neck and shoulders if this is what you want to do you will get the same benefits however if shoulder stand is within your practice follow me engage your core to lift your legs up to the sky press your hands into the mat to lift the hips off the floor place your hands on your lower back to support you Ensure your elbows are tucked close to the body. Your neck is relaxed here. Make sure the support is on your shoulders and not your neck. 
stay here if this is enough or find halasana or plow pose with your legs straight slowly lower them overhead aim to reach your toes onto the mat if they do not that's totally fine simply keep the legs straight and hovering release your hands from your lower back find a fist just like you did in bridge press into the fist and the forearms keep your hips lifted and long your neck is relaxed focus on deep and steady breath your core is slightly engaged to protect the lower back Take another full breath in and a full breath out. Good. To come out, reverse the movement, rolling down one vertebra at a time. Beautiful. Hug your knees in. Give yourself another big, big hug. We'll do one counter pose before finding Shavasana. With your legs extended, tuck your hands under your hips to support the lower back. Press into the forearms to lift your upper back and chest off the mat. Gently tilt your head back if possible. Rest the crown of your head on the mat. Creating this beautiful arch through your upper back. Fish pose. This is a great counter pose to the plow pose we just did. Keep your heart shining to the sky, stretching into the throat, perhaps activating the chakra here, encouraging you to speak your truth. Take a full breath in and a full breath out good lift your head up tuck the chin to your chest and lower your upper body to the mat extend your legs out as wide as you like them to be allowing them to fall open naturally arms by your side take up space once you're ready close your eyes and relax your entire being notice where tensions are held allow your exhale to release them into the air Your body is heavy and light at the same time. You are fully supported right now. Allow your breath to flow naturally without any effort. Simply come home to your breath. As you rest here in stillness, feel the energy you've cultivated through your practice this morning. Let that energy settle into your body, replenishing and restoring you. You've awakened the body, mind and spirit connection now take this moment to integrate all the work you've done. Reflect on your intention for the day ahead. Perhaps you have set an intention earlier in your practice. 
or maybe one is emerging now. Let that intention guide you as you move into the day with clarity and purpose. How do you want to show up today? Can you carry the peace and focus of your practice into your action? interactions and choices feel the strength you've built and the breath that centers you And know that just as you've balanced effort and ease in your practice, you can move through the day balancing productivity with presence. When you're ready, begin to gently bring awareness back to your body. Wiggle your fingers and toes, slowly stretching your arms overhead, feeling a deep, refreshing breath fill your lungs. Roll onto your favorite side, pause in this fetal position, cradle yourself in a moment of gratitude for your practice. On your next inhale, gently press up to a seated position. Keep your eyes closed. Take one more breath in, lifting your heart. And as you exhale, bow forward in gratitude for the energy you've cultivated today. Carry this intention and mindful presence into everything you do. Take your practice off the mat and let it guide you through your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Until we meet again on the mat, namaste. If you have any questions or feedback, do not hesitate to leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have not already. That would mean the world to me. And hey, if you know a friend or a family member that can benefit from this practice, share the love. Let's practice together soon.